G'day, my friends. Marty Ware here at Marty's Garden on YouTube. Hey, have I got a really cool video for you guys today. I'm going to show you how I pot up my tomato plants in my compost and worm casts. Now, a few other tips and tricks along the way that you can implement at home to grow successful tomatoes right off the bat. could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling so this is going to be pretty awesome guys make sure you watch the vlog right through so you don't miss any of these important little tips that you can use at your garden at home to grow successful tomatoes now i love cherry tomatoes and these ones are called yellow beams and i started them off from seed in my compost that i got out of my hungry bin now, I'm going to show you the concept as we go along. This is going to be pretty cool. And I'm filming all on the GoPro, a little bit on the Canon as well to get some really nice shots. Now, as we spin it around here, you can see they're going in this little plastic pot. And there's quite a few plants in here. Now, we've had a little bit of rain. And I think the slugs are starting to sort of thinking about maybe getting up here somehow. Oh, who knows? Maybe I'm just getting paranoid. But they need to go into pots. And so we've got the setup already done over here in the wheelbarrow, guys. And I'm going to show you something really awesome. Now, to get started, we want some of this, some seaweed mix, right? I've got about five litres of water over here that's been sitting for about 24 hours. So there's no chlorine or anything in it. But it's not going to matter too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a lid of this, about a lid full of the sea salt, but... I just sort of go off the top of my head. Bit of a drizzle in there. We want to get the colour up, see, so we can get this happening. And what sea salt does is it provides these little minerals from out of the ocean, stops from root shock. So give that a bit of a stir in there, get some nice colour up. When you're using it in the garden, you can actually use it uh, more often if you dilute it more. That's one of the tips I'd like to teach you guys especially if you want to get your roots growing. So I'm going to put this right under. Now, if any bubbles are coming up, we know that that's not fully saturated yet. Tomatoes don't mind getting really wet every now and again, so they can really handle it. And you can see my compost. It really holds a lot of water, and see, it's not draining away fantastically, but it's in this nice pot, and it's pretty saturated anyway. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring this down now. All this down below here, this is all worm castings, guys. And over here, we've got a mix of vermiculite and compost from the hungry bin. And the vermiculite is an organic substance that comes out of volcanoes. It's very light and fluffy. Doesn't hurt if it gets back in your compost, into your system. It's completely 100% natural. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and then squeeze the sides like that. You can see there's no roots coming out of the bottom yet. So you probably could have left it a bit longer, but I don't want to get them too tangled up now you can see that the roots are starting going around in circles like that around the outside now in grow bags what they do is they break off and bust off but what we're going to do here is break this up into three or four sections now the ones that i like to keep are the thicker stemmed ones you know they've got this nice thick stem and a really red and they're not growing too tall and lanky too fast. Now, I am going to be selling some of these. That's why I've got these really nice brown pots over here that you can see. 
I think I got these off eBay, these pots, from memory. And these work an absolute treat. So what I'm going to do is, I'm filming this all one-handed, vlogging freestyle. So it's raining today and there's a bit of a storm squall coming through. It's perfect for, for transplanting, right? Because it's not too hot on the plants. So what I'm going to have to do is I have to wheelbarrow around out of the wind, around the corner here, and then we can start, we can keep on going with this progress. So I'm going to have to stop the vlog for a sec and we will be back in a minute. So we totally moved where I'm filming from onto my little secluded veranda here where I grow on the grow table. Look at that. You would have seen that at the beginning. Some beautiful stuff going on there. Oh, yum. Can't wait to harvest again. But let's get into getting these done. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to move these plants over. So I'm just going to grab a handful. I'm not going to do them all in front of you because that would just be a waste of time. Look, there's a worm in there. Look, compost worm in my mix. See? I do grow in my own compost. Right, do we go? Let's just look at this pot here happening. And what we're going to do is we are going to fill this up with my vermiculite compost. Now, there already is a little bit of worm castings already in here, but I usually add around about 10%. So we'll grab a handful from over here, mix that through, get that like that. Now, this actually is much more simple than you would think. And I'm going to grab around about three plants. Now, I'm filming with my right ha left hand and doing this with my right hand. Now, you can bury tomatoes up much higher than you would think, right? So, I'm just going to bury that little guy underneath because I can't. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit here <laughs> with the two hands. But we're getting there and it's getting done and you're getting to see. Now, what I wanted to teach you was... When you're putting tomatoes into pots, you want to have a long, straight root, right? This is the tip for the day. Don't let the roots bend back up in the pot. This will hurt the plants. They won't grow well, and they'll get stunted. So we want to go for a deep, long pot if we can. This pot, preferably, should be about twice the depth of that. But because I'm selling these, right, and these are the only pots I have, and I need to get some return on it. And they will grow quite well in these pots, no problem. So just going to mix it around like that. Get it nice and straight. So there's about three or four in there. A little sale for the micro farm. And that'll bush out nicely and it'll look really good. And people can then transplant them into other pots or put them straight into the garden like that. Yellow beams, cherry tomato, which is an heirloom, which you don't see very often. And that'll go on to Facebook Marketplace. Now I just soak that again. Doesn't matter if that vermiculite goes all through the water there. No way it seems any bubbles out. It's already pretty saturated. So no bubbles coming up. And wow, that, look. Put it over here to the grow table. Now, it's not full on sunny today, so it's not going to matter too much. As I said, I'm doing this in like a rainy day, which is perfect. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more. Put that around there like that now when you're transplanting great idea as i said use the seaweed great idea to do that in the rainy day like it's a rainy day here perfect early morning late afternoon less stress on the plants keep them moist keep them in a nice spot out of the wind like the wind's starting to hammer around the corner there now you can hear the storm coming in i've got to head off Hope you found some tips and tricks out of that. Remember, keep your roots straight when you transplant. Use the seaweed. Add a little bit of worm castings in your compost and the plants will grow so healthy and be pest resistant. I've got to go. Rain's coming. I've got more stuff happening. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video real soon. More worm farming. Small space gardening coming up. Oh, I love that rain. Bring it on, hasn't rained like for a month, hardly at all. Bring it on. Love the rain. See you soon, guys. Bye for now.